how to use TradingView for complete beginners. Let's go. So the first big, big mistake I see many beginners in the crypto space make is they're trying to do their technical analysis on the exchange site itself. But actually the exchange site, which I mean Bybit or Binance, whatever you're trading on, should only be used for placing orders not for doing your technical analysis like drawing trend lines and so on. So why do you want to use TradingView? TradingView is basically the most popular trading platform as of today. Why is that? Well, TradingView has everything you need to get started. It offers you all the tools you need. You can search up every coin on every exchange possible. You can set up alerts, you have a lot of cool shortcuts and you have a better way of organizing your chart. So recap, the platform you have your money on should only be used for placing orders and not for doing your technical analysis. You don't want to look at the chart right here. Instead, you need to look at the chart on TradingView. So how to actually use TradingView? Let's go over that now. So first of all, there is a free subscription and a paid subscription, but I'm pretty sure you only need the free subscription as of now because the paid subscription is for pro traders who want to use more indicators, who want to use alerts, who want to replay their shorts. But as a beginner, I would recommend to just stay with the free plan. So how to use it? First of all, you may notice that this chart looks pretty zoomed out. So how do we actually get a closer look on these candles? Well, pretty simple. When you scroll down or scroll up with your mouse wheel, you'll see that you can scale on the X axis like this. So how do we actually make them scale like this on the Y axis? Well, simply you'll look at the price right here. You put your mouse over it. You click your left mouse button and you drag up or down. If you want more detail, drag up. So now that we know that zooming and dragging, we can take a look at the tools TradingView provides for us. So let's first start with the toolbar. You can find the toolbar on the left side of TradingView. On here, you'll have a list of all the tools you can use with TradingView. But these are not only the tools you can use. You can have more options if you hold left click on one of the tools. For example, here on the trend line, if we hold left mouse button, you'll see that there are plenty of other options you can choose from. So how do you use a tool? Simply click on it and then you can start using the tool. Now you may already have noticed these other tools on my screen. So why are these on my screen and not on the left of trading view? Well, that is because I've marked them as my favorite tools. How do you do that? Simply click on a tool and click on the star icon. If I click on that, you'll see it will pop up on my favorite bar. And this is actually very simple to use because you can move your favorite bar wherever you want over your screen. So that way, when you want to use your favorite tool, you just simply click on it and you can start using it. And now that we know how to locate and use tools, we also need to know how to change the settings of each tool we use. Well, to do that, it is pretty simple. When you drew something on your chart, like a trend line, you can then now double click on the tool on your chart and the settings will pop up. Now, on here, you can adjust some basic values and change the color of the line or the color of the text, the font size, make it bold, change the text and do some other things. But when you like what you did to a tool, you can then simply save this template of the tool so you can use it later on. To do that, you simply go down to the bottom left of the settings and click on the drop down arrow. On here, you click on save as, give the template you've just made a name like red trend line and simply click on save. Now the next time you draw a trend line on your chart, you can simply click on this templates icon and then you can see 
that you've saved red trend line right here. If you click it, you'll see it will pop up with the same settings you've assigned before. Let's move on to some other features of TradingView. When you want to use indicators on your chart, you'll simply find that option right here on the top of your screen. Indicators, click on it. On here, you'll find every indicator you need. You can mark also like tools. You can mark your favorites by just clicking on the star icon. You can write your own scripts if you're a coder, but I don't think you're planning on doing that. You can separate the indicators from technical ones and financial ones, and you can use indicators other people made for free. I will not go deeper into that. I will make a separate video on indicators, but it's important enough to know that the indicators are found here. Simply click on one and it will pop up on your screen like this is called the EMA. Another tool that I found very useful when doing technical analysis on my charts is the magnet tool and the magnet tool. You can find that right here. Now, how do we use the magnet tool? Well, it's pretty simple. You select the magnet tool, you select a tool, and then you'll see that when you want to place the tool, the magnet tool will give you indications on where to place the tool. You'll see that it snaps to certain candles to the top and bottom of wicks, so you can be more accurate in drawing your lines. Simply hover with the cross over a certain point in price and wait for it to snap. Then I'll click and it will snap perfectly where you want. So what if you don't want to use the magnet tool for a certain moment? Well, of course you can just unselect the magnet tool, but there's a quicker way when you're drawing some trend lines or horizontal lines, you can basically hold down control and now hover over your chart and you'll see it will not snap to any point. If you release control, you'll see it will snap again to some point. Pretty cool shortcut you can use. Now, if you have a lot of objects on your screen, like for example, you pressed a lot of things on your chart, then how do you delete these pretty quickly? Now, if you're familiar with computers, you know that you can shift click and select multiple objects. But when you try it on trading view, it will pop up this weird price range thing. So we know that we can't use the shift key to multi-select objects. So how do we multi-select objects in trading view? Well, simply use the control key instead of the shift key. Hover over an object you've drew over your chart and then hold down the control key. Now click on it go on another object, click on it, go on another object, click on it while holding down your control key all the way and then click on the last one. And now you can simply delete and it will delete all your tools. So use control instead of shift for multi-select. But what if I tell you that there's actually a more convenient and easier way to arrange, delete, select objects? Well, how? you simply use the object tree. Well, where can you find it? On the bottom right of your screen, you'll see like a layer stack of squares. Simply click on that and you will see everything you drew on your chart. Well, now that's not pretty much on my chart, but let's just do something with the brush right here. So you'll see a lot of brushes appear right here. So this is basically a list of everything that's on your chart. If you hover over one of them, click on one of them, you'll see that this, this is the one you've clicked on. And you'll also see three icons on the right of that object. And these symbols all make sense. The lock item basically means that you lock this object, meaning you will not be able to select or move this object by accident. The eye icon means make the object visible or invisible. And the cross symbol means delete this object from my chart. But on here, you can use the shift key to multi-select instead of the control key on your chart and delete them. So that makes it a pretty convenient and easier way to work with your objects. So I really recommend to use the object tree on TradingView. Let's go to the next pretty cool feature that TradingView offers. And that is the alerts. 
When you don't want to wait till a coin hits a certain price you want it to reach, you can simply enable alerts for that coin. Click on this little alert menu and the alerts window will pop up. Now you see that you're on the Bitcoin USDT pair. So simply in this box, you say the price you want to get a notification from when it gets hit. Let's say 20K for Bitcoin and you'll see Bitcoin USDT crossing 20k will get us a notification an alert so we click on create and bam an alert is set now you will get a notification on the desktop or if you download trading view on your phone and log in with your account of course you can get notifications on there as well if you now want to have a list of all the alerts you've set up you simply go to this clock symbol it says alerts when you click on that you'll see that the 20k mark for bitcoin we've just set up is displayed right here you can remove it also right here so pretty cool actually i just realized that i didn't explain at the beginning of this video how to change the coins on trading view but it's actually pretty simple you just go to the top left and you click on the bitcoin usdt or whatever coin you're on right now and then you see you can uh, type in for example Solana that's Sol and you'll see all the different exchanges that Sol is on simply click on it and bam you'll get the chart of Solana on Binance US chart now to end this video I want to give you guys a lot of cool shortcuts you can use to make your trading life a much more easier first of all you already know that Ctrl Z lets you undo certain actions but it is not Ctrl shift z to redo actions on trading view on trading view you use ctrl i to redo but still ctrl z to undo so let's for example use a uh, trend line on this chart to undo this action ctrl z you all know that but don't do ctrl shift z it will not work on trading view use ctrl i and you see it will redo the previous action next shortcut is alt t Alt T, T for trend line. So Alt T draws trend lines on your chart. Next shortcut is Alt plus F. Let's just undo this. Alt plus F lets you put the Fibonacci tool, Fibonacci retracement on your chart. I'll explain later on in another video, in a separate video, how to use this Fibonacci tool. This is just how to place this and what's the shortcut for this on the chart so it's alt f for fibonacci f for fibonacci next tool is alt plus h h for horizontal line so alt plus h lets you draw a horizontal line on your chart like this of course if you double click on it you can change the settings from dotted dashed line to normal line or dotted line but you already know that so alt h for horizontal line now vertical line V so it is alt V for vertical lines let's go through some last shortcuts you can use first one being the alt R you use alt R when you have a pretty zoomed out chart and you want to have a more clear view you want to reset the zoom and that is by hitting the alt key and R this is just for resetting the zoom not for resetting the chart so if you draw some things right here and you click alt r it will not reset and remove the things it will only reset the zoom so if you are here you press alt and r it will reset the zoom another cool shortcut is the alt plus s s standing for screenshot so you basically take a screenshot and directly copy the link to the screenshot so when you for example want to show someone the chart setup you've made you've drew some things on your chart let me just do some things pretty quickly this is all messed up i just doing things randomly so i want to send this to my friend simply press alt plus s and now you may see nothing is happening well actually behind the scenes it's copied your url of your screenshot so if you for example open a new tab and you control v you'll see it will put up a trading view link enter and this is basically the screenshot of the 
chart you've made up. So pretty cool shortcut to use. Before we go to the last shortcut, I want to tell you guys, we first need to understand what your watch list is. And your watch list is basically a list of all the coins you are watching. So basically all the coins, all your favorite coins that you want to look out for. That is called your watch list. And you can find it right here on the top right of trading view. It says watch list on here. You'll see all the coins in your watch list, not even coins. You can also use stocks and other assets in here. But basically, how do you put a coin in your watch list? So you can pretty simply click on one of them and your chart will open instead of just clicking here and typing it all out. Simply when you are on a coin, you press Alt W and right now you'll see that this FTM perpetual is placed on your watch list. And now you can simply switch between different charts in your watch list very fast. So that is it guys. I hope you learned something here. I'm going to make a lot of more tutorials soon. I will make a more in-depth video on trading view, how to use the tools, how to have the best settings of each tool, etc. But if you want the second part of trading view, make sure to comment that you want the second part and you like this video, subscribe, all that stuff. Hope you guys enjoy this. Have a pretty awesome day and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys for watching.